who what is crack like in youtube this is your buddy shot and before i start the video i just want to warn you this list ranks consoles in order of enjoyment levels based off of my personal opinions now we've each had our own experiences skewing our perception of enjoyment and i hope you guys take this into account so without further ado we'll roll that beautiful intro let the fucking bass track What is crack like in YouTube? This is your buddy Sean, and today I'll be going over my personal list of the top five video game consoles of all time. Now, before I start this video, I'm going to set a few rules in place so that I don't cause myself trouble in the future. So, rule number one, these are home consoles, so this list does not include handhelds, virtual reality mediums, or even the personal computer. Now, the other rule is that this list does not contain the current generation of consoles, aka the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and, and uh, the last one. Oh yeah, the Nintendo 3DS. I think Ojimbo got a hold of a bad taco. Hey, I'm a legend. When I found TK on Sega Dreamcast, it's thinking. Okay, I know everybody watching this video now remembers playing their Dreamcast. Oh, c come on guys, everybody remembers all those awesome games that they- Oh Jesus, <laughs> I'm up here now! <laughs> Okay, on a more serious note, let's talk about the actual number 5 on the list, the Nintendo 64. Now everybody and they mama had a Nintendo 64. I remember in my elementary after school daycare, they set up a whole line of them for all the kids to play and when you heard that, it was a wrap. The library for this console was so diverse, today's consoles barely pale in comparison. Assassin fighting game shooter game. We all know that you guys are born in the summer with the lack of games. We fuck that. Coming this November. While you're all stressed with the island sales, now only starting at eighty dollars for twenty percent of the game. And for another sixty dollars, you can get the super chart season pass, containing another forty percent of the game. And don't forget the infinite amount of microtransactions for the rest. Pre-order today and get the exclusive pre-order bonus. The exhilarating feeling of your wallet crying for help. Remember kids, EA said DLC. <sighs> The Nintendo 64 is an awesome console and an even better start to this list. Uh, for the first time, let me now unveil Xbox. Next on the list is the console that made online multiplayer mainstream. Uh, believe it or not, it was not the first. Uh, fun fact, the console and game to ever have DLC was, you guessed it, Sonic on the Dreamcast. I'll let that sink in. Even though I never actually played Xbox Live until I got a 360 a year later, I still had a lot of fun on my Xbox. With hits like Halo 2, which is part of my favorite series of all time, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and Doom 3, Xbox Live laid the groundwork for prepubescent little kids to yell racial slurs at strangers everywhere. Okay, time to play some Call of Duty. Well, what do we have here? Oh my god, is this kid He's again? A wet bag. A chink, a spear, chucker, or a porch monkey. Okay, if you just don't say anything, you'll just go away. I know you're here, boy. Now just come on out now. <sighs> oh, so we got a fucking nigger. We even breathe like a nigger. Back in my day, we used to I'm lynch more babies than fucking a white woman. Okay, if anybody's okay, fucking my know. sister, it's me. It if it ain't white, it ain't white. At the end of the day, the original Xbox will always be legend, but not king. GameCube. Even though the GameCube did not particularly sell well, it was an amazing console for the simple fact that I could beat the games. Up until this point, I never actually beat a game because I just thought they went on forever. So imagine my face when the credits rolled at the end of Super Mario Sunshine. So, uh... What's going on here? It's kind of ironic how gamers always ask for new and original games from not just Nintendo but all gaming companies as a whole, but Nintendo's console with the most creative and original games like Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Pokemon Coliseum, Naruto Clash of Ninja, the first Naruto fighting game, Wario World, and Paper Mario? This console sold poorly compared to all the other Nintendo based consoles, but Regardless, this console was amazing to me and will always remain as such. GameCube. 
PlayStation rapidly becoming one of the most popular gaming consoles, Sony Computer Entertainment aimed to create something even more powerful, PlayStation 2. This console needs no introduction. PlayStation 2. PlayStation. PlayStation 2. The newest, fastest video game system ever. This console sold like crack in downtown Miami. This console was the console to have. It was unreal. Whoever had the PlayStation 2 had everybody rolling through the 6. The graphics were crazy, the console looked sleek, and the games were amazing. When my 5th grade friend got Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, my life was forever changed. I had dreams about playing the PlayStation 2. I set my family's desktop wallpaper as the PlayStation 2 Slim just so I could stare at it daily. I wanted one so badly, and on one faithful Christmas night, my mom had one sitting right under the Christmas tree. This led to one week of nothing but Jack 3 and Snow Crab Legs. And don't, don't ask. Every night, I unplugged it and placed it right by my pillow and slept next to it. Needless to say, the PlayStation 2 was a great console to me. But it was not, is not, my favorite console of all time. This console is undoubtedly the greatest console to have ever graced my television. If you looked past the crippling red ring of death, the chainsaw disc drive, the 360 happens to fall, it will sound like a chainsaw, it'll kill the disc, what's it for all? The jet engine fan noise and the outrageously big power brick and all the other things are wrong with this device and you know there was actually a lot of things wrong with the xbox 360 but it was truly a monster featuring graphic capabilities that literally were stronger than most home pcs at the time which is definitely not the case for today's consoles but when i first saw the xbox 360 it was around the same time i actually got my playstation 2 but at this time i was still like fuck xbox playstation 2 and you know but i was so confused by this picture right here i mean where did where do you plug in the controller? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? The first game I saw was back when the Walmart actually let you play consoles in the store and oh my god King Kong fucking blew my mind. As the first console I actually saved up by myself and bought it on my own, it introduced me to my first love, Halo 3. And also XX Negro Kage DBZ25496 MLG420 Blazed XX. Well, that was my top five favorite video game consoles of all time. I really hope you enjoyed because I have been switching up a little bit in the more recent videos. So, uh, yeah, if you like the video, hit the like and you know all the other stuff that you would typically do at the end of a video or at the beginning of a video. Um, this is one of the first videos that I have lined up. I have another few videos already lined up, started to edit them. So uh, stay tuned for more. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it again. And this is your buddy Sean, and I will see you guys later. Peace.